Hey everyone, Stitch here. Back here for part two of Mr. Mindblocks' remake of Thomas and the Magic Queer Road. Um, this, this is, uh, like I said, part two. But, um, this is the last one I'm reacting to. Because I said I reacted to the first two parts. So he reacted to one of mine, but I thought, I, I thought it'd be fair if I reacted to two. Just, you know, a nice way of saying thank you. And, uh, he didn't, uh, he suggested, but he said, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to, you go ahead. I'm like, yeah, sure, why the heck not? So that's what I'm doing, so... Here we go, part uh, two of his Magic Wheel remake. Let's do this. Puppy Dog. Well, hello, Mr. Conductor. Oh, hello, Billy. Toolkit, check. Ticket puncher. Check, check. Aye, 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 aye. All aboard! Just testing, Billy. Mustn't let my conducting skills get rusty. Important day, Mr. C? Oh, ho, 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 ho. It is a very important day. I'm going to the island of Sodor. You know, it's the only <clears> place <throat> in my universe where I really fit in, size-wise. Sir Topham Hatton has given me a big responsibility. Diesel Ten is back, and I have to make sure that he behaves himself. Excuse me, Billy. I hope your visit goes well, Mr. C. Thank you. Did he get stop I motion? Be responsible, reliable, and... He... Don't tell me. Ah, really useful. I knew that. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say? Oh, well, thank <laughs> you, Moby Dick. I like my sparkle, too. You know, gold really is your color. Stacy, where did you find this painting? In an old locker. It was done by Burnett Stone when he was a child. I was told that he used to work on this railroad, but he never leaves the other side of the mountain now. You seem puzzled, Mr. C. Well, I am puzzled. This place looks like the island of Sodor, but how would Burnett Stone travel there without gold dust? Sparkle's been the only way to make the trip since the lost engine disappeared. Anyway, I have to go now. Right now? I'm sorry, my puppy was Why, yes, laying uh, downstairs, so... Sure safe on the island of Sodor, <laughs> just as I try to do here. Like Stacy, Mutt sensed danger. He didn't want either Billy or me to leave Shining Time. <laughs> Old Smokey, you stay right there till I get back. Ah, there you are. Is something wrong here? Ah, no, what kind of an answer is that? I'm gonna be late. I have to concentrate now, Mutt. I'm suddenly having problems with my sparkles. <laughs> Mutt! Goodbye, Mutt. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! Heck yeah, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! <laughs> Mr. Conductor, where are you? I know you live far away, but you always seem to get here on time. Oh, Mr. Conductor, are you alright? Yes, Thomas, but sometimes everything happens at once. I need to see Sir Topham Hat to get my orders right away. The journey from Shining Time gets bumpier and bumpier. Does it? A big bully diesel is back. You had better be careful. Sir so Topham Hat warned me about Diesel. That's Don't cool. Worry, Thomas. Thomas Cab. I'll just pop in and out with my sparkle wherever he goes and keep him in order. I hope. Old Nick Diesel had a plan. He 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 he. With a pinch pinch here and a pinch pinch there, here a pinch, there a pinch. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Natasha, the conductor family, has a little steam engine in their own railroad and has wonderful energy because of her. But these I get a bring up a train, that's really cool. And without her, the conductor's universe will vanish. The man with the sparkle told me one day, one of his family will return. But until then, to guard her well, young Burnett. That's cool. I didn't guard you well. I just don't seem to understand about... about magic anymore. This is where Burnett's granddaughter, Lily, 
comes into our story. I think I did a decent job she while working on this. Big city. A few hours trade yeah, I, I pay Burnett Star if anyone's wondering. She sees magic like no one else has time to. Like lovely reflections of light on a rainy day. Soon, she was off to visit her grandpa on Muffle Mountain. Grandpa's been so sad since <laughs> died. That's cool. And he rarely comes to see us. Well, maybe your visit will cheer him up. Hmm? Did you get his present? Here. I'm making him a friendship bracelet. Oh, honey, that's beautiful. But I'd rather just stay here with you. I know. Come here. I'm gonna go up this way. Okay. Be careful. You always say that. Do, 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 do. See you in a minute. Man, I love this movie soundtrack so much. It's a shame that not all of it got released on CD. You coming with me to Grandpa's Bluebird? I know how much you like to travel. Whoever plays Lady does such a great job. Like, holy cow. I have to watch the credits and see who it is. Far away on Sodor, the engines were feeling confident, cheerful, and determined not to be bullied by Diesel. Only James, who now felt really useful too, was complaining. Wobbly wheels! Puffy pistons. Thomas, I should have collected Mr. Conductor! James is right, little Thomas. <laughs> Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job, hmm? Important is big. James is a big engine. You, Thomas, are small. Small, 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 teeny, teeny, weeny. And I, I'm a big blue engine who knows everything. Bah! Bossy sprockets. All, All of that shit had gone to your funnel. Hey, there they are. We'll fix the way good. I'm not gonna back it up. Me neither. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. Toby's right. Diesel knows that the lost hey, engine and the legend cool. really exists. What engine? What legend? Of an engine whose magic makes her more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to find her. Well then we better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy! Little engines can do big things, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. Hey, just watch what happens to that blue puffball. We can like a slap attack with the really good. <laughs> I have to ask Mr. Blue. Routine Mr. Blue. Anyway, hey, I get my stuff. I have to ask, uh, I'm I'm not today, uh, maybe I can ask them to watch a few, uh, engines for me in the future. Ooh, sorry friends, just a dust. Love to stay and clean up. I gotta go, bye now. <laughs> 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 uh, did you mean to look like that? Uh, no, uh, neither did I. This must be Diesel's doing. Ah, choo-choo! Dear Mr. <laughs> Conductor. Nice job using paper, I like that. Where were you? I used flour when I My did it, but I kind of regret doing that because it made so much of a mess. We'll so it's been like two hours sure of cleaning up. You have arrived. Signed, Still fun though. Sir Topham Hat. Really well done. <clears throat> Sir Topham Hat. Yeah, like, uh, these, uh, these remakes are really well done. Like I swear, after uh, Vinny and Where Rob and uh, the rest of them did the parody, I swear it jumped a whole new uh, thing for people to do Magic Railroad stuff. Especially their own version of it. Whoa! Ah! Uh, Mr. Conductor? Oh, good afternoon, sir. A real honor, sir, like my family before me. And how is Lady Hat? Very nice. So far, our holiday's going great. Now, do you remember what I told you when I left? Watch out for Diesel 10, definitely. Nice right. job on uh, talk, I, uh, adding Scum Hat's voice. That's okay, something you know I, I really wish they didn't uh, yes, sir, the do that in the original movie, how they didn't what? actually include him. I understand I mean, why, but still, I really wish they I did. I will be responsible, reliable, and really useful. Okay, now just remember those and you'll be ready for action. Mm -hmm. We will all get a good night's sleep. Looking forward to a hard day tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you when I call you back. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Uh. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so uh, just like uh, the other part, uh, a really well done editing. A really fantastic job with the music. I really like how you were able to 
I use the music from the movie. I really like that. Um, again, sound effects, voice acting. Like some of these voice actors are really well done. Like I'll have to find them and see if I can ask them to maybe voice one or two uh, characters for uh, my stuff maybe in the future. But yeah, everyone did such a good job in this. And uh, again, thanks for letting me uh, be Burnett Still Mind Blocks. I had a lot of fun doing this. And uh, yeah, everyone does such a good job. And it. <clears throat> one thing I actually do like is, you know, uh, you know, sometimes if you watch a visual movie and you watch this, you know, you will see some engines say the lines slow or faster and sometimes it might be a pause or two, but it just keeps going and going. And I like that. It just shows like, you know, there's no uh, stopping. It just lets the movie go without it being boring. And I, I like that. So yeah, a great job with that, dude. And uh, keep up the great work and uh, look forward to watching the rest of this. So thank you uh, everyone for watching. Again, part two and uh, his channel will be in the description. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone.